I'd like to welcome to the stage uh, Rachel Wiley. Uh, Rachel is a queer biracial poet and performer based in Cleveland, a two-time National Poetry Slam competition finalist. Thank you, Rachel, for sharing your original composition with us today. Please, please give a round of applause. Thank you all for having me. A litany for the becoming. For those of us making ourselves more at home within ourselves. Those of us who want only to be what we most are without having to ask permission, without signatures, without endless evaluations, without having to sanitize what was never unclean, without prioritizing the comfort of everyone who isn't us, without fear of it being the reason someone tries to undo us. For those of us who will answer only now to our living names, the ones christened with bright truth through a forest of fears, both ours and others. The names our beating hearts rejoice to hear like a favorite song from a passing car's summer speakers. The names we sign our love notes with. The names we write in sugar on our birthday cakes and encircle with candles in celebration of making it through one more unpromised year of becoming, another year of being, another year of surviving, another year of survivor's guilt. Because we know for every year marked with a growing pool of melting wax, there are some who don't get to be here with us who should get to be here with us. Those who were undone, whose beautiful becoming was cut short. Some whose authentic names will not appear on their headstones or in their obituaries. Their valiant becoming redacted by people confused or threatening by the living and embodied gospel truth of them. So we burn for the undone with our most unapologetic breathing. And we make no more pleas for acceptance. No more appeals for our humanity. Only demands now. You would not ask a boot heel if it sits comfortably on your neck. So too, any eloquence to ask for what rightfully belongs to us has long expired. We belong to ourselves, to our loves, and to the families who find us and choose us right back, and to the universe who made us divine and queer. And we owe none of our precious time defending ourselves against the simple act of becoming who we are. Who we, will, who we were put here to be, who we were always going to be anyway, no matter what you say or what you don't. Thank you. <laughs> 